Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Vomisit. In this video, we will cover one of the snowflake in Drupal, that is, does cloning occupy storage or not? Okay, if I take a backup of a table with the help of cloning, does it occupy storage or not? Let us discuss in detail. Okay, let us take one table, select the star from EMP test. Okay, now see. Here almost the common records are the same. We can able to understand. So see, almost like 106.7 million records are there. Now what happened now? I want to take a backup. What is index for backup? So create or replace, replace table, table name. Okay, clone. Okay, you should go. This is index. First we'll discuss table, table name, clone, Old table. So this is the syntax for taking a backup of a table. So create or replace table, table name, clone. Okay, now same thing. So create or replace table. Our table name is EMP test. I'll put understanding purpose. I'll put clone. Clone is the keyword and the EMP test. Okay, see. So this is the same. Now see, we are taking a backup. Now see, within fraction of seconds, table has been backup table has been created. Now, requirement is that what now we need to check whether it's occupy storage or not. Now, how can we check whether it's occupying storage or not? See, we're having one view is there. Select the star from information schema dot table storage matrix. Okay, in this one, we can able to check whether it's occupying storage or not. Where? See, table name. Okay, in what are the table names we're having? Okay, EMP test comma EMP test clone. The one is main table or is the clone table. See the same thing. Control enter see here what happened. So this is the main table. Okay, see here what happened. Okay, EMP test the main table. Okay, see here. Act to pair. So main table is having this much of storage. What about the clone table? It's a zero copy clone. See point is that word. So zero copy clone is nothing but what? Without taking any storage of the main table, we are taking a backup. Okay, this is called as zero copy clone. That's why it doesn't occupy any storage. See, we can able to do with the help of information schema dot table storage metric. Name of that column is active bytes. Active bytes will be zero in a sense like what? The cloned object doesn't take any storage. How can you put one more time? In the information schema, table storage metric is one view. So this is the IC. EMP test to clone, EMP test. It's having active birds. And what about text clone? It is zero birds. In a sense, like what? Doesn't occupy any storage. Conclusion is what? Zero copy clone doesn't occupy any storage. Okay, how can I prove by this? If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.